Hey, what's going on boys and girls? Guess what? I am up to 700 subscribers. It seems like only yesterday when I only had 698. And to celebrate, we're going to hold our first annual Honey Badger Voodoo Fishing Tournament. And we're going to abbreviate it with HPVD. Wait, that, that sounds like something we're going to need penicillin for. Let's just not abbreviate it. And let me tell you, this tournament's going to be big time. We're going to have reps from Hobie, Malibu Kayak, Google, Victoria's Secrets. Okay, well, there's going to be none of that. Okay, but still, it's going to be fun. That I can guarantee. Okay, let's go over some of the gory details. Where? We're going to be launching out of King Harbor in Redondo Beach. The parking is safe and easy. The launching is safe and easy. It is a harbor, so we're not going to have to deal with any kind of a beach launch. If you have not launched out of here before, I have a very detailed video that shows you where to park and how to launch. Alright, let's move on to the when. I want to time this event so that it either falls on something near a full moon or something near a no moon. And that's because everything else being equal, the fishing is generally better when there's a full moon or a no moon. And it has something to do with water movement. So I'm thinking Saturday, October 26th, okay? There's gonna be something near a no moon and every time you see a high number here, like anything 90s or above, it typically means that the fishing should be pretty good. But, and this is a big but, everything depends on oceanic conditions. In terms of swells, we're looking for something like three foot and under. In terms of wind, we're looking for something 10 foot and under. If the swells are something like six foot, I will postpone this event. Because as I mentioned, I want this to be a newbie friendly event. Assuming that you can put in maybe about five miles total. I don't want to subject new people to harsh oceanic conditions. Okay, the game plan is to launch out of King Harbor and then paddle out to Palawan Wreck which is roughly two miles away. That's two miles away one way. So we'll be out here fishing, you'll be paddling around, and then we'll paddle about two miles back. So again, you have to be comfortable with putting in roughly five miles all told. If you have not fished Palawan Wreck before, I have a very detailed video that shows you how. And again, I will leave a link in the description. Okay, moving on to the gear in terms of rod and reel. We're going to be in like 120, 130 feet of water, so I would recommend a rod that's rated 15 to 30. Your reel, you know, I would recommend it should hold 50 pound main braid and then maybe have like a six foot bumper of 30 pound mono or fluoro leader. The tried and true rig, especially if you are kind of like a newbie, is a double dropper loop. That's two hooks. Um, I would probably use like three uh, circle hooks and I would have maybe like an eight ounce torpedo sinker. Uh, the universal bait is squid, but shrimp also works. In terms of what kind of fish you might catch, it is incredibly varied. Um, you can see sand bass, you can see calicos, you can see all kinds of rockfish. If you're using shrimp for bait, you might see sheep's head. Sculpin. Um, here's a note on Sculpin. They look like this and you got to be careful about these spines here. They are poisonous and um, they can put you in the hospital. So learn to recognize Sculpin and do not handle them with your hands. Now I won't possibly be able to cover everything in one video, but feel free to shoot me an email and I will try to answer as quickly as possible. The rest of the gear is pretty straightforward, you know, like PFD, enough food and water for six plus hours. If you have a VHF radio, and I'm not talking about your walkie-talkie radio, it's a completely different frequency. If you have a VHF radio, it's going to make communication much easier. You should have some kind of navigation device um, in case you decide to leave the party early. Uh, I want to be able to know that you can navigate back to the harbor safely. As far as the rules of engagement, I only have one golden rule, and that is don't act like a selfish jackass. If you come out here and you treat others with respect, 
and you're a good teammate, you and I are gonna get along famously. If you come out here and act like a selfish jackass, then I'm gonna put you in a timeout in Davy Jones's locker. So first place is gonna be, you know, $500 in Monopoly money, so draw your own conclusions. This isn't about, you know, big money or cash and prizes. It's about getting out here or getting out there and enjoying the outdoors and meeting good people and having a good time. If you are a newbie, this is probably gonna be a good trip for you. Again, as long as you are able to paddle about five miles. I am not a big fish, trophy fish kind of guy, but you're more than welcome to hang tight by me and I will show you what I know. The only other thing is, it'd be good if you're okay with being on video, if you're not okay with it, I do respect privacy, but um, let me know ahead of time. Okay, that's about all I can cover in one short video. Of course, there are gonna be many questions you may have. Just reach out to me and I'll get back to you. Otherwise, let's get out there, have some fun, be safe, and we will see you soon. Bye for now.